Hey y'all, it's Nancy the Handy Scandy. Welcome back for another crafty venture. I have a big old art journal spread, two whole pages as you can see, bright, colorful, springy, and also a little bit of grungy. <laughs> so I pull out my pixie spray and my well-loved, well-used six by nine dotty stencil. Of course, it's from Whimsy. Let me just say, if your stamps are stained or if your stencils are stained, it's okay. It's showing them love. It's part of the process. They still work just fine. So just let me encourage you, don't freak your freak if your stuff is stained. It is perfectly okay. Now I am using some texture paste from um, Ranger. It's a crackle texture paste. And this is just the very first layer. Remember mixed media, things like that, all about the layers. And so if you find yourself attached to a certain layer, consider it done. Don't add another layer because you're just one layer away from losing what you absolutely love if you go over it and you're very much married to it. But you're also one layer away from perfection. If you don't like what you have, just keep those things in mind as you're adding your layers. So I set that aside to dry. You can see some of the crackle going on. I did not wait long enough, to be fair. I did not. I was just ready to keep it going so I could see that it was starting to crackle. So I just moved on. So here I am using the brand new Lost Shadow Distress Spray Stain. And I love it. It's a very beautiful, very soft, pale gray. So I wet my paper first. I sprayed down the ink and then I added some more water to it, as you can see. And I'm really just letting gravity work, letting the water do its job by kind of loosening things up and moving it around and then just letting gravity go. Now I did spray those first couple sprays of the Lost Shadow, but really I prefer exactly what I'm doing here. Just kind of splattering and flicking and doing all those fun things and just allowing the ink to do what the ink's going to do. So again, got down what I wanted and then I added water to it. And you can see how much that has spread and there's a lot of yellow now. That yellow is Harvest Moon. It is a mica, mica stain. And this green is, let me tell you the right name, Fresh Balsam. Again, that's one of the mica stains. And I love green and yellow together. And you can see that for the most part, I just splatter and I just kind of flick or drop the ink onto my onto my, um, well, my work surface, my project, every now and then, like you just saw, I'll go in with a spray because it gives you a very, very different effect. But I find that I have much more control when I just splatter and flick than when I spray. And I'm able to kind of use that white space in my favor that I've been trying to do for so long. So I'm really liking where it's going. I'm liking that you can see the crackle with the ink going down in between, but I just felt like it needed another color to make it all pop. So I pulled out my picked raspberry. This is um, an oxide, distress oxide. And again, a little bit of sprays, but mostly the flicks. And I was hoping to do some blending and get some more oranges with the picked raspberry and the harvest moon, but I did not let them blend enough because remember wet on wet blends, wet on dry layers. So I have more layers than I have blending going on and I'm not mad about it. I just didn't get what I thought that I was going to get when I added the picked raspberry because I really wanted some more of that orange. We bring the orange in though. It's not a problem. What I'm doing here is I have some, some water down on, on my, um, my, on my spread and I like to take the, the end of the, the sprayer and just kind of drop the mm, concentrated color, if you will, in some strategic places, especially around those circles because it kind of highlights them and makes them stand out. But it also goes down into all those cracks of the crackle paste, which I love. So moving on to the second part, this is what I'm going to die cut. And, well, I'm going to stamp first, and then I'm going to die cut my butterflies out of this using all the same color palette except on here because I wanted more of that orange I brought in carved pumpkin Disp distress oxide spray unfortunately it took over <laughs> I do love orange I am an orange girl I said before the warm end of the of the rainbow or the color spectrum is that is definitely my wheelhouse but it just took over a little bit I was hoping for more of the yellow and the pink which I have I just don't have what I thought I was gonna get so I have it all done, lots of layers, lots of speckles, lots of splatters, lots of shine with the mica. And so here I am using the outline die 
and it is absolutely beautiful. I'm using that just as kind of a viewfinder. Now this is the Elegant Butterfly stamp and that was of course the outline die for the stamp. It's absolutely beautiful guys. I can't tell you enough. So we've got the beauty <laughs> from the color palette. We've got the beauty from the, the shine and the spray stains. We've got the beauty from the ink blending. We've got the beauty from the stamp itself, which is absolutely stunning. Love that filigree work. And now we've got the beauty of the heat embossing, which never, ever gets old to me. So I have this super sped up. It's like mm, almost six times, but I love it. I just wanted to look at it. <laughs> I wanted y'all to see it too. So yeah, just um, VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink stays wet a little bit longer. All the VersaFine Claire's do. They have a, a longer open time. And then I sprinkled on the clear embossing powder. I did not have to use VersaMark or anything else. It worked perfectly. So die cut both of my butterflies. They're so, so pretty. Lots of that mottled color. And then, of course, the shine. Kind of auditioning, auditioning them on my page to figure out where I wanted them and if I wanted to do anything extra. If y'all know me, you know extra is, is kind of my middle name now. <laughs> so I am taking the, the Hatch stamp from the Distress. I think it's called Distress Backgrounds. I'll have everything listed downstairs like I always do. And um, I love that. I love that kind of, a, it's a Hatch mark. It almost looks like a, like a threadbare rug or some um, burlap that's lost a lot of its, its weave. <laughs> And now I'm taking one of the dotted stamps from the Fadoodles Dots. I love that stamp set as well. Um, yeah, just using, I used the gray for the hatch, hatch marks, and then I used, of course, the yellow for the dots. And now I have the Vintage Script Background stamp, and I also use the, um, the grungy, is it grungy burlap, something like that, grunge? Oh, grunge canvas grunge canvas stamp you could see down there in the bottom right and for those I used um, I used old paper as well as let me give you the right name forest moss because the old paper just wasn't showing up very well so I wanted the forest moss on there too just to kind of pull out that same kind of deep olivey green that I was that I was having and I'm in love so on those stamps the the stamped images on my background I actually sprayed them with a little bit of water so they would be a little more modeled a little more soft no harsh lines and then I have all of my words die cut I use the um, the bold ABC's as well as the cutie ABC's for my words and then you can see I have my brayer and I have my white acrylic paint and I'm literally just brayering the paint over all the raised spots on the page so it's hitting those um, well, it's hitting where there's folds are. Obviously, you can see that that big blop that I, I created there, but it, it's okay. It fades into the background sooner than later. And of course, it, it hit all of the, the stenciled dots as well. Then I got to have some splatter, but this splatter <laughs> was kind of the, my bane. So if you guys follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you know that I went through a... Um, kind of a rearranging and a reorganizing of my craft room and that splatter is why it literally went everywhere and I had to move everything in order to clean it so I just went ahead and made the move that I had been planning to make and during that process my camera died and I did not know it so what you did not see me do was adhere all of the elements I adhered everything up on double double-sided foam tape and I used my Stabilo all pencil to go around everything and it gives it that kind of oh almost dirty kind of grungy dark highlight if you will shadow and it makes everything pop off the page so you go just go around the edges with your Stabilo all pencil and then you go back over the pencil with with like a wet watercolor brush and it just it kind of smudges it and smears it all out and it makes everything just pop right off the page now I went back in and I made those frames around the outside of, of the overall composition after I pulled up the tape. And um, I did a pink and then I did a green and I went back with the black Sharpie and I did another black one. And of course you can see on the letters that I did some black as well as some white highlights on them. And on the butterflies I went back in with a white gel pen as well and you can see that I added just a few highlights just to kind of brighten it up a little bit. And I used some 
products from this calls for confetti. I have glossy black confetti on each corner. I have three on each corner. And also for the heads of the butterflies, I used, um, oh, one of the pearls. I can't remember which set it was from, but again, I'll have everything linked and listed downstairs. But guys, this is my project. Whew, it took a lot longer than this. I know this has been a long video, so I thank you for sticking it out with me. And I'd love to chat with you downstairs in the comments. Of course, as always, we ask if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you are not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell so you're alerted every time I post something new. And until then, guys, I will see you downstairs in the comments, but I'll be back soon. Until then, thanks. This is Nancy, the Handy Scandy. Mwah. I am out.